not based on sales. The Grammys is a sorry for money making thing. Okay? The Grammy is a sorry for money making thing. It is the same reason why Barry Saman don't have a Grammy today. Ask me if anybody will get Grammy better than Berish? No. Why Berish don't get a Grammy? Berish is not signed to any company that's making any money off Berish. Berish is not signed and submitting to any of the rules and laws of the elites of the world facing music. Berish is not willing to discriminate the culture and do not what him not want to do. Him not sign a record deal with none of them big company there. Him have an independent label named Harmony House and every deal with him sign, him sign true Harmony House. So them now have no control over Berries and many other artists so they do not even get nominated for Grammy. Okay? Even when them do get nominated, them now win. So that is the first thing Jamaican people need to understand. It is not based up on sale. Okay? All Grammy, Grammy is a committee, a body of people that come together and decide so we are get a person at the Grammy. And also the Grammy voting for, for enter as a voter, you have to pay money to. I must say 100 US or something for you, you pay and enter. And then you have to vote. Why the fuck do I want to kill myself for that? Why, why would I want to kill myself for something where somebody come together and it's also a hustle, it's also a money making thing? Them create these things to make you feel less than yourself. See? They create things to make you have low self esteem. To feel like if you don't get it, you're less than who you really is. Because if you ask me, them white boy are reggae are garbage compared to our reggae in terms of production. Leroy Samuels, Grammys are not based on sales, my friend. Billboard is more based on sales. Billboard Awards more based on sales. Because you have to sell if you get Billboard Awards. See? Grammy is a... What do they call it? What do they call it? Like a little privilege. Like they must say, we are sure you um, gratitude for your work. You understand? For your work. Meaning them listen to your album and them say, oh, it's great instrumentals and great lyrics. Okay, we're going to give you a Grammy. Somebody can sell 1,000 copies and get Grammy and you can sell 10,000 copies and, and get it. You understand what I'm saying? So Grammy is not something based on sales, my friend. So that are the first thing the people and we are comment and a type and I say, oh, Spice not sell this, other person not sell that, other per it's not based on sales. Okay? Next thing now. Let's speak about Soja now. Soja album don't sound better than nobody. None of the other nominees there. See? Soja album in terms of production and what reggae truly is, Soja album don't even deserve one popcorn ring. If if you if you if you if you understand me, I say, because them can't even speak the lingua good. Them can't even. Me listen to some of them song. I mean, I like them. I mean, I like the song. What I do like, you wanna listen to me good enough. What I do like, see, is the fact. That soldier based them content. Man, listen. People, me don't want to run for type, you know. I want to know, listen when I say carefully, you know. Because you ask me if me, them deserve to get the Grammy. And I say yes. And I say no. In terms of production, hell fucking no. This is what I think them forget the Grammy for now. Over everybody else 
Listen carefully. See it? Soldier is a group of white Americans who fell in love with reggae and copy the craft and embedded themselves in the craft and are trying to become huge in the craft. Now, you can't be dominant as a genre and not expect nobody to copy your thing. Them are going to copy your thing. But watch this. Soldier have more than one song where them openly have born Hold on, hold on, hold on, people. Hold on, hold on. And them jump over the life. That's why them don't learn. When you ready now? Now, reason why me say soldier them forget the Grammy. Remember them a copy our thing, right? So it's like children, them live where them learn. At the time where them fall in love with reggae, reggae was authentic. Reggae was authentic. So when them are create them music, them are born Babylon, them are born Chichi man, them are born all of them something. There. Them white youth there. Them still are keep that essence there. But who them a copy from? Stop. Everybody a complain. What make the music a go away? And what make the music a drift? And what make the numbers them a, a stop? And we stop sell bigger. Because when we submit to the enemy. Now, people don't know why me say Jamaica is the enemy of the world and people don't understand why reggae gets such a big fight now if them youth here cannot emulate our sizzler our capitan our bojo our luciana our, our original product them stop seeing the content when make people love the music so then all oh, you expect the numbers them for big same way Bojo retire him song, boom bye bye. Sizzler stop sing bad man, don't apologize to nobody boy. Take out him words, them change up him words, them. Keep than them change up them words. Anthony B them change up them words. Every man change up them words and switch up them song and a soften up the culture. Then all you expect it to have the same audience. All you expect it to reach the same places. Then everybody a panda and a pick and a pine finger. The problem is the content of the music is watered down. So the attraction where people used to have for the music is not there anymore. One time artists are the music from the heart and the soul. No, them are do it from the perspective of what people want them to sing. No, them are write them song and when when it, when it brain tell them to write something, them take it out. Oh Jesus. Um, I'm not going to have a visa if I write that. I'm going to take it out and put it in this. So, once you start to take out from the music and water down the content of the music, then the audience is going to disperse because I'm no longer attracted to what you are saying. None of the nowadays rasta them now about the fire. Chronics openly okay. With having lesbian in him, in him crew. Jesse Royal cool with the lesbian them in him crew. Proto J cool with the lesbian them in him crew. Kabaka Pyramid. Where the next one name? From Linstead. All the way, way. When, when, sir? In a mid diamond sock. Some, well, oh, oh, when name again? All of the modern day rasta them. You never hear them sing one song. I born homosexuality yet. Them cool with it. Because they want to go far. They want to go all the way in the business. So your, your, your representation of the true culture 
is watered down. Uno a right to conform to the, the evildoers. Uno a right to conform to the demon them. Uno na sing to oppress no demon. Uno na sing to oppress dirty worker, obia worker, batty man, lesbian, pedophile. Uno na do it. Uno a right to suit them. All of the people who are represent reggae, reggae are now submitting to the devil. Remember, you know, if you say they are work for the devil, you know, you submitting and fabricating your product to suit the devil automatically means you are working with the devil. So you could have a lax look more. You could have dressed like Rasta look more. You could have skanked on stage and watch Bob Marley and try pat on him, jump on him, something them. Your content, your lyrical dominance plays a major part in winning the people. You don't know, win nobody. So them white boy, you know, I say what you are supposed to say. That's why me say them forget the Grammy. Because them I say, we're uno afraid to say. Bojo Bantan, take him song out of him catalog. Boom, bye, bye, now nah sing no more. How can you do that? Who are you pleasing? Your audience, are you pleasing the oppressor? Yeah, please the oppressor. Why you take your song out of your catalog for? I know me can't understand it. That means you're working with the orders of the devil. The devil don't like hear it. And you take it out so you, you comply. Sizzla change up him song. Fifth suit them when they perform them now say nothing. Fi open often nobody. All away the enemy send come tell us to them why you stop do you lock your mouth. Some of the man them read nobody, nobody sing no song. So all oh, them white boy sing the same thing where Uno say and get Grammy. But Uno afraid to sing it because Uno won Grammy and still not getting it. Uno, I can't farm and I submit to the devil and the devil still not going to them prize. I don't know how the man them will use the words that say do not sit in the seat of the skull full. I eat off the table as sinners. So oh, Uno, I submit and I give in to the enemy but still not get nothing. No. So that means when them always I say, and the content of the music and car we are born batty man and are born this and are born that. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's it 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 is a lie. That means them just want we our musician them to stop and, and just work with the devil. Because Jamaica, brand Jamaica, is of God. We are the only music genre that pushes the lifestyle of praising the Almighty. So now we are influenced these white people. We don't know nothing about we thing. So when them see for them own a white people, a build reggae band and do them thing, they know it drive them crazy. So what they want to know, they want to damage the source. Because remember them white boy I learned from the source. So when them get the source for shut up and start comply, eventually over time, the next youth, and when I learn reggae now, now I got to hear none of that content they night. So them I got to stop singing. By the time, say soldier them get all and stop singing, our new white man come up at the reggae. Then the content they now got in it. So God lose again. So now help beat God, but then now so now rate God. So that is where the problem is. Uno for the music and stop thinking about Grammy, stop thinking about dirty stinking billboard. Remember a billboard this Bunty and Beanie from verses. See? A billboard come out of the move reggae category. Billboard got suck on the mother. And that artist fear tell billboard got suck on the mother. Instead of not cuss soldier, tell Grammy got suck on the mother, Grammy. Want me for to tell Grammy got suck on the mother. You know dead? Want me for to tell billboard got chuck to a big sour stinking mama. What wrong with that? On a tool, licky licky. On a can team up on the money and plan to kill footer hype can talk the truth. 
Jamaican artist too licky licky. And them a group if you foreign up. Me glad me hear when them cranium come talking. So Jamaican artist a group if you foreign artist. If him call and beg one of them to make a cameo presentation of one of them performance, then nah do it. People remember last year me talk about it. When Kelly got Jamaica, me a call name. Capitan, Bojobantan, Bunty Killer, Sizzler, Movado, anybody him call, run broke them neck. Kelly no bust none of them. Kelly no give none of them career. I'm a better if Sky Juice or Rory or any one of the founding selector them mat around call for certain collaboration, it not happen. You think we can call and keep it and get up out of bed? Um, um, Barrington Levy get up out of bed. Bunty get up out of bed. Keep it and Bunty they have a good light like that, you know. And Barrington Levy left country. Keep it and left where I go. Bunty left where I go and meet up with Khalid and eat and drink and waste the whole day and, and talk and laugh. Oh, yeah, man, Khalid, man. How the great youth, man. What do do? What do you do? Pussy wall. Which part? I don't blame Khalid. Because Khalid are doing work. But where is the same love when it comes to who boss you? The Jamaican selector them boss you know. So that Skellid can sue no. I mean I talk about myself alone you know. Me I talk about people before me. The Sky Juice them, the, the Rory them. The Billy Slaughter them. The Mataran them. The Uri them. The Isla with them. The whole of them and them said, you think them can call? You think them can call and get artists to get up out of them bed and come meet up with them if me and DJ Kelly that clash right now me not trouble you know because the collaboration them with Kelly have you know and the dog plate them with them give Kelly and the special them you know they would never give it to a photo hype they would never give it to a matter and first thing if you call three of them here yeah, man you know I'm gonna deal them boy they want to you you know, make them do for them part and me come do my part them now come the one time the one of them now come the one time come with a vibe and, and cook food and rain. I see how Kelly go up a sizzle and them a cook chicken. I could have go up a sizzle and tell them put on a pot of chicken. I could, just, I could just really speak the truth and, and, and see why reggae they were there. Eh? Which part? I could have go up at the Rasta man yard and go tell them put on a pot of chicken for me. When them done run me down with fork and knife and lass and beer thing. Me see Kanye go run a budgie yard. Me can't get over this all now. I have him foot on budgie table and budgie no say nothing. No. Nothing at all. One I go do hate me and kill me. This can't take back. This one me at all now. Can't take back. It can't take down. So I don't kill me. It's still up there. One at all, boy. One at a bar, oh no! Mash up reggae, oh no! Oh no! We stop sing the real thing, them. And I submit to the demon. You think you have to get up and say, yeah, me I work for the devil? You say, I work for the devil? Come on, Bridget. Come on, I want to. When certain foreigners come to Jamaica, if you are a rasta, and you don't cook certain things, and you don't deal with it, when them come, them feel near my dead. Eh? Them don't no feel tell you where they are. You're mad? The art of the world. Anyway, I don't want to get too much off track. A lot of reggae artists don't know the history of the music. That's why them white boys get the Grammy. Zin, listen to what I say now. Jamaica, not the artist. Jamaica is the problem. I talk this way, you know. I'm going to talk it again. Jamaica is the problem, not just the music. Brand Jamaica is the problem to the world. Zin, listen to me, you know. Brand Jamaica is the problem. Until all Jamaican realize this, so the problem is not just the music or the sports or nothing. The whole Jamaica problem. I am going to tell you when Jamaica became the enemy of the world. Are you ready? Because even who in the music of the reggae don't know this. 
Yes, when Jamaica did there at the era of Skia, Jamaica was not the enemy. Listen to me good in the people, man. Listen to me good. Because this way I got talk, even some of the man them in the music don't know this. At the era of Skia, Jamaica was never the enemy of the world. Turn on that AC, turn up that AC here. Yeah. Hold on, can I get that? When Skia around the place, reggae was not the enemy of the world. When Jamaica got rock steady, Jamaica was not the enemy of the world. You want to know when Jamaica become the enemy of the world? When the whole world not like Jamaica, no first world country not like Jamaica. I know Jamaica music them not like you know. I know the sportsman them alone them not like you know. I know the food alone them not like you know. Them not like nothing. When you am Jamaican, I'm going to listen to this. See? Rocksteady, from Skia to Rocksteady, if you look for all, I'm not going to say all, 90% of the Rocksteady and Skia song them are Mark adopted. People, stop type, stop type, listen. Because this is the deeper part of music. No boy can trick me in the music. The, most of the rocksteady songs, can remember you have scared in rocksteady, then reggae, then dancehall. I want to listen, 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 listen. 90% of the songs produced in those times, they mark adapted. Adapted means cover version. It means a people song, you yeah, sing. So when them sing these songs, the bulk of the money go to the original composers and singers of the song. So the bulk of Jamaican music at the era of Skia and Rocksteady did not belong to us. Sometime when the Jamaican artists sing over the people them song, it end up bigger than the original. But it doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that the song not belong to we. So, America and the rest of the music world never have no problem because we are singing over jazz and blues and, 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 uh, and R&B and and them something that we are singing over people thing. So, them did cool with we at that time. At that time, the, the content, listen, listen, listen. Please listen. At the time, the content of our music. Oh shit, my battery is dead. Hold on. Can't afford for that battery dead to the car. I want to know who of us when I say no. I want to know pre when I say no. Because I'm going to learn today. No. Alright. Zin? Hold on, hold on. Wonderful now, hold up, hold up. All right, use my hand only. All right, listen to me I say now. The content of our music in the era of Skia and Rocksteady was not uplifting nobody. The content of our music was singing about love and loving a woman and treat your woman right and heartbreak her, woman left you because we were copying the American songs. Listen to John Wilt them, listen to the Eptones them, listen to most of those early songs of Rocksteady. They were sing over songs, they were cover version songs. So financially, it never benefit we because the original composers that get majority of the money. Studio One, one of our biggest label ever out of Jamaica, 90% of them work was cover version. We build it in a our version in a skia but the words then belong to somebody else do you understand what i'm saying to you so we were not considered enemies of the world at that time ready when you ready now i know when jamaica become the enemy of the world when 
the Almighty, the universe, gave us something called reggae. Man, listen to me now. We became the enemies of the world when we were gifted with something called reggae. Okay? Where the songs were no longer singing about loving and falling over a woman and mad over a woman and a sing over now. Yeah, they are back now. To me, I deal with some business. So, most entities in the business don't know when Jamaica became the enemy of the world. When the Almighty gifted us with reggae, we became the enemies of the world. We became the most hated. Then, so watch this now. Now they call me Afitek. Zin. So, when you pay attention, when you love run run, when, you, when them reason they are going on, when you pay attention. Zin. So, when we start singing about Black Revolution, we start singing about the journey, the transatlantic slave trade. Hola, hola, hola. People, I did have to take that out there. I did have to take that call there. So I want to be here with me, look at me. Listen, brother, when we start talking about the transatlantic slave, when we start talking about the oppression, voila. Yeah, so, hello? You want hear me? You want hear me? You want hear me? Somebody said my bad mind spice. All right, yeah, my bad mind. And that's all you have to say. It's bigger than even Spice. I'm going way before Spice. With their Jackie Met 2 and Ep 2 and John Walt and Ken Booth and them people, you know. Way before Spice exists. I'm going show you where the tribulation start. Zin, when, when reggae start wake up the world to oppression and them think that we became the enemy of the world. Zin, at that time, reggae wasn't adapted enough. No reggae become original content, original rhythm, original sound, original everything, plus promoting the Almighty and promoting blackness. Get what me I say now. And from this, so we become the enemy of the world. So this now have nothing to do with. Where it reached now, we know it start before that. Why it have that impact you now? Because who I perform in our music now do not know the journey and the purpose of reggae. This are the problem, you know. They do not know the purpose. Enough reggae artists don't know this. Say so rock steady where the day before reggae a straight copy. And 90% copy do over song. No own no rights, no nothing at all. No, no power over nothing. Now come reggae. With the Toots them, the Bob Marley them, the Jacob Miller them. All of these people. We are the revolutionary music. And I wake up the world. That is when reggae become the most hated genre and Jamaica become the most hated piece of land in the world. So if you don't know, ask questions, study. You have to know the business where you're in. The business where you're in is revolutionary business. You can't say you do reggae. And you make slave master, make you take out your words, them out of your song. Make you change up your song to please them. Oh, you do that, then that means you're not do reggae. Reggae come to save the oppressed. Reggae come to save the slave, them not the slave master. Reggae come to uplift African lineage. Reggae come to uplift the black race and everybody. When you hear Bob Marley say one love, you know, I know everybody him attack, you know. He might talk one love between black people 
and the rest of the world have to love black people. That's why you hear Bob say, him not try to play.